Oh, good. The drilling stopped. One of my neighbors is working on their house or their yard or something. I don't know what they're doing, but they keep, there's a whole lot of banging and drills and all that stuff. So if that interrupts this video, I apologize in advance. Before I get started on this close up, what fits, you know, just details on this beautiful bag. I wanted to welcome everybody to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for um, subscribing if you have all of the good stuff that you all all the interactions all that stuff thank you so much thank you thank you all right so this is a rogue top handle it is part of the Tom. it was part of the tom wesselman collection i received it from the outlet because that's where the tom wesselman collection is now in the outlet so um some only certain outlets received that collection so um excuse me anyway this is the bag the style is beautiful, lovely, convenient. I love the style. I definitely give this rogue top handle a thumbs up. I knew I would love the style because it's just, it's a me bag for sure. It's got a top handle. It ha It's a flat bag. Um, it's not too, too deep, not too wide, not too tall. It's just the perfect, it's the perfect size. The, the handle does drop back by the way. It's the rogue handle. Did I already say that? And this is how it's this particular bag is part of the Rogue collection because they gave it the Rogue handle. <laughs> anyway, while I'm right here, let's look at the size. We are about eight and a quarter in, in width. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Height is about five. Uh, I'll say about five, a little under five and a half inches. And then the depth is about three and a quarter. Um, rounding, rounding up or down, that's just about three inches. And let me take you around the bag. Here, by the way, is the gorgeous Tom Wesselman graphic. That seems to be, at first I thought that was a nick in the leather or something, but that's actually, that's part of the paint job. That's part of the print. I don't know if all the prints with the flower has that, but that's on this one. I don't know if it was a mess up or what, but who cares? As long as the leather wasn't nicked, I don't care. So pocket in the back and it's all leather in the back. Beautiful Napa leather. As you can see, there are two straps. One is a chain, a leather chain strap, which is very attractive. In my opinion, a little useless because I don't use, I don't use chain I don't use chains that are this thick. They don't feel comfortable to me. But um, they have a very nice, flat, pretty wide strap. Also, that's adjustable and removable. This is removable also, of course. And then again, the top handle. So I do like the versatility in this style. That's one reason why it's such a great style. Definitely versatile. It has three, oh, excuse me. It looks like, it's just like the Cassie and um, a couple of other styles. It has three compartments here. However, there is more. Oh, here's the bottom. There's more. Let's check it out. Here is the uh, clasp right here. The clasp, you push this little piece up and this releases the closure. This is a little too easy. That This one feels like it, it's almost loose. Let me know, those of you who have top handle ropes, let me know if this is just if this releases too easily, you know what I mean? Like I just push it. You know what though? I remember. I believe there's a little magnet. A little, there's something is magnetized in this area because um, it actually, hold it, let's see if it works. I have to position it in the correct spot. I'm just playing around with it now. Yeah, see, it kind of grabs it. So I think this might be magnetized. I did remember that at first. When the first couple of times I did it, with the chalk one also, I also picked up the chalk with the lips. Um, I picked that one up also. And then when I when I um, closed it, I thought, oh, that was too easy. It, it feels almost cheap. But then I realized <laughs> something is expensive. I'm, I'm thinking, I was. I'm, I don't. I don't assume that something is expensive if it's difficult to close or open. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that it just felt a little too loose in a way. But then I did realize later on that there seems to be some sort of magnet because this kind of grabs this part of the closure, if that makes any sense. So I just push it in a tiny bit and it's there. I am still, part, part of me is still a little bit worried about that, but you know what, whatever. Interior is that same very soft, 
Uh, oh, by the way, the exterior is gloved tan leather, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if the printed bags are gloved tan leather. I'm assuming that they are. The rogues with the uh, the prints are also gloved tan, just like the solid color rogues. The interior is that same Nappa, that really soft, smooth Nappa leather. Here is the interior of the bag. So on the outside, it looked like three sections, like the Cassie or like the uh, Riley's and different styles that we've had by Coach. However, there are two there here we go it's accordion it's an accordion style so we've got two gussets here two gussets there and then that gives one two a well, big fat center compartment and then one small two and then three this is even slimmer three small um, pockets but then there's oh compartments three small little compartments and then there's a slip pocket in the very back so technically it's one, two, three, four, five areas to play with and organize. And then the very interior has a zip pocket. And in the zip pocket, what type of material? It's that 1941 textile or jacquard or whatever that's called. Yes, beautiful bag. Again, see that just that was really easy. And some people I'm sure love the fact that it's so easy to um, open and close the bag. However, I don't want it to be that. And I, I like that too. If, if, if a closure is too difficult, I don't want it. If a closure is too easy, if that makes sense. Y'all, I'm complaining, but you know what? Don't mind me. Anyway, so this is the bag. Again, beautiful color. I believe this color is light camel. Light camel. And I, again, I may not keep it because I want a solid color. If this was solid, solid color, just solid light camel, this would never leave my collection. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I really love it. Oh, by the way, it's not too heavy. Considering that it's a fully leather bag and has two, two um, straps attached. And this, you, we know what the, those of you who know, those of us who know, these are not especially... These Rogue handles are not especially lightweight. They're not super heavy anymore. They used to be a little bit heavier with the earlier Rogues, but with the most recent Rogues, they're not as heavy. It's not super heavy. However, even with all three of these, the handle and the two straps, it's not that heavy. Of course, I haven't loaded it up yet, so let's open that with just a push of the thumb very easily. <laughs> and I will start filling it up now so we can see what fits. I've got my wristlet here. I won't go into detail with all this stuff. I've got a phone. Now here's my, here's the tr um, honestly, I'll be the, the only issue I have with this aside from the closure um, and the print. The only issue I have with this style in general is the fact that I'm not sure. I don't think I would use the two outer pockets or compartments. I don't think I would use those. I tried putting my phone in this front one, and it just it felt odd. That's just me though. It felt kind of odd, like it was unstable or something. And also, if I fit something in here and then fill up this area, let's keep filling up this area. Mirror, it says mirror. This is Ray Dune, Ray Dunn from my children at Christmas time. They gave me all kinds of cute little gifts. Here is, oh, those were my keys, by the way, keys. And here is a card holder. There are no cards in it. However, I put something inside of here so I didn't have to load up these because I'm not using this right now. I don't have to load up the card slot so I put something fat in there. It's actually one of those um, those 1941 packets that Coach used to give us with our 1941 items that they no longer give. It's like the authenticity card and the care card and all that in there. Well, anyway, this is as thick as it's going to be with cards. So um, that's why I put something in here. Anyway, I put this in that compartment. And already it looks too thick earbuds earbuds I'll put back there I do like the organization here I've got um, a mini mascara rarely used but I just wanted to use it for the purposes of this video I do use this lip balm this is EOS EOS lip balm put that in the back also at this point it's too much I, I can't oh, where? let me take this off so that you can see a little bit better here we go. A little, this lasts a little too much. It's like top heavy. I must not have loaded it up correctly. Let's see. See, I can't, I can't, you. it looks so great though. Look at that <laughs> filing system. This is so great. However, I would not use the front 
I would use the front pocket because it just, I can't do that. And then this just, it's a little awkward, guys, to be totally honest with you. It's a little awkward. And I think it's because the, this section here, these two, and then these two sections right here are slim down here. They're very slim. So actually, that's what it is. That's what the problem is. So I probably wouldn't use... Oh, yeah, it's not going to work. I probably wouldn't use any of the outside pockets. Maybe if I had receipts or something. Oh, you know what? Let me try this. Oh, that, that might work a little bit better. And then put this in here. That might work a little bit better. Still, though, it's, it's odd. But the flap is generous. So even if the stuff is kind of top heavy, if you know what I mean, like it's carrying mostly up here than down here. Down here, I can barely even... I feel like some stuff can't even get down there. Well, yeah, it's down there. But it's still, it's... Do you understand what I mean? It's like it's wider up here than it is down here. It stretches up here a lot more than it does down below. Of course, I'm just now playing with it, so we shall see how it goes as I continue to play around. But the flap is very generous. Now it's a little heavier, but you saw all that stuff I put in there. And that's what's in here. The Rogue strap, of course, is quite... Oh, I need to get this thing off. The Rogue strap is quite uh, comfortable. But I'm used to the Rogue strap because I've had so many Rogues for so many years, and I just love it. So this is the bag. Here's how it looks. Here's the side, the profile. And it looks good, feels good. I, really, I need this... I'm not going to remove that strap, but I really need to remove the strap off here so I can get into this bag as best as possible. So yeah, it actually looks pretty good. It looks good stuff like that. That's attractive. That's almost too deep for me though. It's almost too deep. And I have a feeling, I have a sinking feeling, sinking feeling that if I actually used this, I probably wouldn't like the style as much as I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> knowing myself because it's a lot I really don't need a whole lot of compartments I really don't all I need is two M actually all I need is one and if I had to split anything up I would just I just like to split up my uh, my phone from the majority of the other stuff nothing else I really don't need anything else let's try that phone goes into one but yeah, it's kind of wide. It's kind of deep for me. Not wide. It's kind of deep for me. So that's how I... I don't need this. I don't even carry this. The wristlets, I rarely carry them. Unless I'm in a bigger bag. But um, yeah, this is... Uh, I don't need all this. This is a lot for me. And I probably get a little fed up with it <laughs> at times. Because my favorite crossbodies are one compartment or two at the most. And a lot of times, I think I prefer... One big compartment and a slimmer compartment for my phone. Like in the Saddle, the uh, Saddle 23, 1941 Saddle 23. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need, I don't need all this extra. I guess receipts, passport, a passport is pretty slim. Receipts are pretty slim, but something kind of bulky. I'm only calling it bulky to fit in a very slim pocket. That, that doesn't feel right to me. It's okay. It's okay, I guess. Let's try this. See, I'm just playing around with it. Getting a feel. Who knows? If I used it, I might love it. Who knows? But yeah, I wouldn't put anything. It fits so perfectly back there. But I wouldn't put anything back there. Okay, you know what? That fits well. That ain't bad. You know what? I just needed to play with, around with it a little bit more. I probably like this. It, I think it would be okay. I think it would be okay. And um, so if I get the chance to get that 1941 red rogue top handle or the black with the oxblood trim... Or, um, yeah, those are pretty much the only ones I've fallen in love with. I really don't want any others. The four, I don't want the green. I don't want any of the others, just the black or red. And I couldn't get them without paying an arm and a leg because I would have had to grab it from um, overseas. And I didn't want to do that because I would have paid over $1,000 most likely. And, again, it was here. They offered, Coach offered. I, don't even, I didn't even see when they offered it. I had a friend tell me that um, 
the top handle rogue was offered for a split second here in the states and i believe it was solid colors some of the colors that are overseas and they were snatched up so quickly and they sold out or they just disappeared i don't know what happened but i didn't see it i've been busy for a couple of reasons in um, august and in july so i didn't see it but um i am glad that i got to see this one and you know play around with it a little bit in person the sh the handle i did try this on and the handle is it it moves out of the way so it's okay when i carry a bag um i generally like to have a flat when i carry a crossbody if it has a handle i like the handle to be flat like the court the vintage court or cassie but um this is okay because it can move now the riley's what other what other what other the riley i think with the metal handle that gorgeous handle got in the way because it couldn't move it didn't budge so it got in the way but um this can be moved out of the way so when i'm carrying it the back is up against my hip and when i open this the handle moves with the flap and it stays out of the way if that makes sense it stays flat against the flap so that is not this handle is not a problem at all but um a handle that isn't flat or can move i can't do so that's a uh, that's why this isn't a problem. This isn't a problem. It's a big handle. This is a big handle for a small, small crossbody. Because this is pretty small <laughs> for many people. This is a, in the perfect size, an excellent size for me, but it's pretty small for plenty of people. So, I mean, I think, let me take it back. I said earlier that I might, if I owned it, if I owned one and used it over some time, I probably wouldn't like it as much as I like it, you know, first sight and, uh, playing around with it here but um, I probably would I probably like it just as much now that I see what I normally carry are just these I just normally carry wallet phone and my phone that I I'm using my phone because it's a galaxy s21 and it has an excellent camera so I use that so I couldn't fit it in I couldn't put it in here but, um, and I'm using the case too. So, but the, the one that I have in here, the phone I have in here is a little bit smaller than my current phone. So it, it works and it fits so well that I know my own phone and I've tried my phone in here. My own current phone does fit in there. But, um, generally what I carry is just phone, keys, wallet, and, um, the earbuds, mirror, lip balm, and all that stuff is a little, well, I do keep lip balm and lip gloss in my, uh, my bags. However, all the other stuff is a little bit extra, but I mean, it fits very well. Fits for oops. See, I thought it clipped. Thought it clipped in there. Did that just come out of its own accord? Yeah, it's there. It's there now. So yeah, I do like this a lot. I I do love it. I do love it. But what I would like is again a solid color. Also, I want them to come out with top handle rogues that do not have the chain that we pay three hundred dollars for. When they sold the chains, well, no, no. The leather chain, yes, the leather chains were $2.95, weren't they? They were longer than this. I do like that this is shorter because the long chains make absolutely no sense to me because they can barely be used. For most people, they can't be used crossbody. This shorter chain is at least usable. Um, it's, it's way more usable. It's way more functional because here's our long strap. Here is a shorter strap, a shoulder strap. And then, of course, we have the top handle. With the, uh, the studio, I think it is. The studio came with... Um, a long a long leather chain if i'm not mistaken and also the long leather the leather chains that they sold the chalk and black leather chains that they sold a few months ago were also long and i don't i don't know it just it doesn't work it's an awkward um size well of course it works as a long-ish shoulder carry but um i definitely prefer the short the short uh chain however i'm not going to use it ever to carry it would just be pictured with the bag like this or something which is absolutely gorgeous but if i could just have the bag without the chain <laughs> i totally would because that takes off at least 200 bucks from the price so coach if you're watching again if you're watching please give us some solid colors don't only include the road top handle here in the states at least don't only or america um because i don't think canada got it either got the solid color rogues they might have but um Anyway, please don't only don't only include the roll top handle in the collections. Would you give us some solid colors, please? And maybe um, we could have an option to have the chain or not. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, add this to the made to order <laughs> made to order program and have this as an option. 
How about that? Anyway, so this is the roll top handle. Again, it's a beautiful bag, beautiful style. I really do like it a lot. Now let's take out everything so you can see again what I fit. Phone in the front or this part. Phone fits in any one of these. And the back, let's see, does it fit in the back? Well, it almost doesn't fit in the back. Mine probably wouldn't fit in the back, but of course this is a thick otter box case. So a phone would fit back there. And then I've got my beautiful Coach New York wallet, keys, earbuds, lip balm, mascara, that's a mini mascara, and a mirror. And I believe that is all. That's what fits in the bag. The bag is beautiful. It's not too heavy. It's a, an excellent size if you like smaller, uh, smaller crossbodies. It comes again with two excellent straps. One of them is aesthetically very pleasing and the other one is very functional um, and aesthetically pleasing. And also this chain is functional as well. However, um, I, I, I wouldn't use it that much at all. But um, also it comes with this top handle, which does move out of the way just in case you need it to uh, get out of here when you need to get into the bag. Here is the hang tag, by the way. It says Coach and Wesselman. And yeah, that's the bag. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. But this is a roll top handle, and I don't plan on keeping it. I'm going to hold out. If I'm going to spend over 400 bucks for a roll top handle, I'm holding out for a color that I will probably enjoy more than this. But this is gorgeous. All right, y'all, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.